Petit says Emery needs to completely rebuild the squad because it is not good enough defensively, lacks team spirit, and they even got lucky during their unbeaten run earlier in the season. Gunners legend Petit now fears the mood could quickly change against Emery, even though the Arsenal manager has no cash to rebuild a squad which was already failing under Wenger. Petit said, it's like Wenger is out, but I have the feeling that it's the same old story. What's happening after Arsene Wenger's era? I think we were expecting more from the club. I am disappointed. You are telling me that Emery has the same problems that Wenger had. Nothing has changed. So why did they sack Arsene? If you sack the manager, you need to start a revolution. But I ask the question, why did they sack Arsene? If someone can give me the answer then I'll be very happy. If you don't give the control to Emery, allow him to oversee a revolution, give him the power to bring in new players to help him change the style on the pitch, then why create all of this mess? This team is not good enough to fight for the title. This team is strong enough to fight for third or fourth place and that's it. They've been like that for years and years. You don't have to be a magician to understand that. I was thinking, okay, you sacked Arsene Wenger for good reasons. But then I was expecting a revolution at the club. But it's not happened. You sack Arsene, but then you have to give the power to Emery to change things. But, honestly, nothing has happened. It's just the same now as it ever was. I don't see many changes in terms of how the team plays since Wenger left. I'm still confident with Emery, he's a talented manager, but he needs to pick his own players as well. For sure, Arsenal needs to change the squad. Pratit believes the problems run deep through the Arsenal squad as they lack creativity in midfield, lack desire among the players, and are in serious danger of the season just petering out into disappointment. They face Chelsea on Saturday, lagging six points behind their London rivals who are in fourth place. And Pratit believes another defeat would effectively end Arsenal's hopes of finishing in the Champions League spots. It's a must-win for Arsenal, he said. They had a long run of games without defeat, I saw every single game since the beginning of the season and I think in many games they were lucky. I was happy with this feeling coming back into this club. But I was not naive and I was sure that the problems would come back into the club, especially with the weaknesses in defence and you could see that for the last two or three weeks. I watched the last game with West Ham and I was thinking, how can you put Ramsey on the bench and leave Ozil at home, knowing that you have no creative midfielders, everything is on the shoulders of Aubameyang and Lacazette to score goals. And for a club like Arsenal, that's not good enough. It's about having the characters in the team.
look at Liverpool, the personality of the team, the desire, the anger. When I look at the characters like Milner, Henderson, Van Dijk, When I look at Alexander-Arnold, Robertson. They fight for the ball every time. That's what you need if you want to compete at the highest level. If you look at the big clubs, even Barcelona, it's all about desire. When you don't have the ball, it's about the desire to get it back. It's really that simple. When I watched Arsenal in the Tottenham game when they won, I saw a team on the pitch. Not individuals, a team spirit. That's what has been missing for ages. If they can get that back then they can come back and have a good season. But if they think individuals like Lacazette and Aubameyang can win games by themselves without the rest of the season then it's a big mistake. Look at Liverpool. Salah, Main and Firmino all score goals, but they have the whole team behind them. They all fight for each other. Arsenal have to be worried, because if they don't win against Chelsea on Saturday then it will be very difficult for them to qualify for the Champions League. It will be hard to see them reaching top four, and when I look at the teams left in the Europa League, well, good luck. Emmanuel Petit is a Paddy Power ambassador. Click here to read his columns online.